What is going on guys, Jay Skilly back with another video and today's video is going to start off with a growl on raid. We got 70 seconds until we hop in. I need that shiny. That is a shiny I don't have yet and I really, really need that. I gotta get it. It's come back like what, three or four times already and I still haven't got the shiny so it is my absolute mission. It is my absolute goal to make it happen this time around. Also, if I do, if I am sounding a little bit weird or if you've noticed that I just talk a little bit differently now, it's because I got my Invisalign in. I actually got a uh, Invisalign which is a really really cool to me I've been wanting to get this for a really really long time it's something I've always wanted and I want to give a big shout out to my guy dr. Salins for hooking it up he's doing my Invisalign I'm gonna be a changed man in about a year and a half so I'm excited for that but again this is just gonna be for the first couple of days I'm trying to get used to how it's gonna be how it feels on my teeth so don't worry if I do sound weird I'm not gonna sound like that forever it's it's just very temporary but anyways we're going in on the ground on and the glitch happens again um, there's a there's a little glitch going on right now uh, one of many <laughs> the glitch is that it shows Shows the name of the gym on the top it shows the pokey stop on the top left and it pretty much it looks exactly what it would look like if you just clicked on a gym normally other than the Pokemon sitting in there so the raids in the background but the gym overlay is still there it looks like it might be partly partly cloudy weather um, I think it is because that that move right there was not boosted so all good Groudon is already in the red we're doing work we've got a couple of raids to do today we also have a brand new fire event coming to Pokemon go that I cannot wait to talk about that's gonna be very exciting but first we need to take down the Groudon right here and a couple taps should do it come on we got 11 people so we got a solid squad I want to say the 100% ID is 2351 the same thing as a uh, Kyogre but I could be wrong about that I'm, although I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's 2351 so without further ado 13 balls if I get if I get shiny Groudon right now I'll be really happy I'm not really happy <laughs> all good oh it was boosted okay 2878 um, the 100% boosted? I don't know. Oh, it's 2939, which is the same that it's always been. So, got it. Not a, not a hundo. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, when it, when Groudon was back just a couple weeks slash months ago, I did get a weather boost at 100%. So, I'm down to get another one of those. Uh, although, I do have a 100%. I have a 98. I have a 96. I have a 93. So, I'm pretty much just here for the shinies. I'm literally the complete opposite with Groudon and Kyogre. Like, I have a whole bunch of shiny Kyogres, but no good IVs. And then I got a whole bunch of good IV grout on and no shiny. So that's kind of a it's kind of a weird little thing right there. Make sure to let that slipped. Let me know how your Kyogre, your Kyogre week went. If you guys got any shiny Kyogres, and then let me know if you guys got any shiny Groudons in the first day of its release. Come on, Groudon, just ah, okay. All right. Well, we didn't throw the greatest. I don't really think I deserve that too much. Wasn't any good anyways. I don't have the room anyways. All right, we've arrived at the second uh, second Groudon raid, and I want to go over the raid counters for Groudon, the 100% IV, all that good stuff. So Groudon ranges from 2260 to 2351. I know you guys already know this. Groudon's been back like, what, a thousand times? So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, it's boosted CP, ranges from 2825 to 2939. It's shiny, is obviously available, and that's how it looks like right there in the uh, middle right. And then the best counters for it are Kyogre, Gyarados, Mewtwo, Feral Alligator, Roserade, Palkia, and we're hopping in the raid, and I'm a little bit late, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and hop in. But if you guys want to go back and just pause the video, if you guys want to, you know, take a screenshot or whatever, go ahead. And Groudon is in the red, about to go down right here, going in with Kyogre, which we <laughs> we didn't end up getting a good one of those. Um, I didn't realize how short, because uh, like I was so used to Chris Elliott was here for like almost a month, I think. So I just figured that Kyogre was gonna be here for a while. It was only here for like a week ish, right? And it, it was already gone. I think I only did like I only did the raids we did on raid day that's pretty much it so i did not end up getting a good one but we got our shiny so i'm pretty happy about that anyways we're gonna do a little bit of a group check here i'm here with uh here with my boys connor and gavin let's see i got 13 balls you guys ready boom oh, okay none of us got it right there 28.92 not gonna be a good grout on it's all good i'll go ahead and try to catch it i guess i need the candy i accidentally used a silver pineapple and i messed up on the throw so please just go down that was that'd be a real big waste if it oh, okay Sorry. Another excellent on Groudon. Please go down, bro. <laughs> we got to go to the next raid. One, two. All right, that's it. That's it. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Groudon goes down right there again. We got a solid relationship with him, so I'm pretty happy. 28.92, not gonna be good. Not even gonna bother checking. So far, we're one for two on the day. What do we have incubating right now? We have three alone eggs and three 10 kilometer eggs. Those are kind of close, so I'm gonna do my best to incubate those on the way to the next raid and then potentially walk a little bit afterwards. 
we'll try to get some eggs going. And here we are going in on the third and final Groudon raid of this adventure. We are battling with a shiny Pokemon, so maybe, maybe we can uh, bring that shiny Groudon out because nobody's gotten one today out of the people that we're raiding with. And a couple members are clowning on me for not uh, for not having a shiny yet. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to change that. I'm I'm saying we speak this one into existence. Let's go ahead and get our first shiny Groudon in Pokemon Go today at this raid. This is actually a very infamous spot. This is the same gym where I got my 98% shiny Latias, my first ever uh, Latias shiny eligible raid. It was actually right over there, just about 10 steps that way. So this is a pretty historical place. Maybe we can repeat history and get ourselves another shiny legendary here, but Groudon's already in the red. And then after this raid, we're gonna do our special trade. And then we got a whole bunch of news to talk about. Some very exciting news, by the way, we have, um, we have Gen 5 Pokemon to talk about. Yes, I said that. We have Team Rocket to talk about. A whole bunch of new shiny Pokemon to talk about and a new event coming about coming up soon. So again, a lot of stuff happening. Here we go. Let's get this shiny going, yeah? Let's get this shiny. You ready? You ready? You want You didn't get it? I did. I did. I did not get a shiny. Gosh darn it. 28.69, that sucks. All right, well, uh, I got 12 balls. I'm gonna do my best to catch Groudon. He will definitely hook it up for me. He's not gonna run today, but as far as the shiny, also not today. And you need to find out when Groudon leaves too. I think it was on that infographic. Okay, it was. So Groudon actually leaves on July 10th, which is about two Wednesdays from now. So that's a, that's a good amount of time. It's like what, 14? That's like two weeks. And actually my buddy Connor's made a good point. Uh, if I don't, oh, okay, no, I am, I am going to get it. If I don't get two while Groudon's around in raids, it is going to be in the next research breakthrough uh, reward. So I guess if anything, I could potentially get it from research breakthrough box. Ended up getting Groudon right there. Nice little catch, 28.69. That's going to suck. And what glitch is this? <laughs> Bro, what? come on, dog. Okay, so Groudon down right there. We are going to do our special right now, but I have a reward to uh, to catch five Pokemon with berries. Weep. <laughs> Weep and bell. Okay. All right, and here we are doing our special trade again. This one is, again, going to be with Big Dog. That's two days in a row. We're going to swap shiny Zapdoses. Uh, this was just a random thing. We wanted to swap a shiny. This was a really, really cool shiny to swap. Only going to cost us here we go, confirming on both ends. If I get lucky shiny Zapdos, I low-key, like, I'm gonna end the video here and we're gonna talk about the news in the next video because that is, that is a top three Pokemon, of, that's a top three need for me in Pokemon Go. Let's see if it's possible. Ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one. Oh, okay, okay. Not gonna be, uh, not gonna be lucky, but I think that's really good. Oh, 14 attack. It was definitely better than the one I traded away, so thank you for doing that. I <laughs> not gonna, his was not any good. All right, at least mine went up. It didn't go up a ton, but it's got 14 attack on it, so I'll take it. That was awesome. It's getting super windy, and we gotta go play basketball, so we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna wrap up the adventure here. Okay, and we've made our way back home, and I do have kind of a lot to talk about, so I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly, but without further ado, let's talk about probably the mo well, the second most lit thing that we are gonna talk about. We have a brand new event coming to Pokemon Go. As you guys may have noticed, it was actually the third year anniversary of Pokemon Go, which was absolutely amazing that the game has made it this far, and it's got so much longer to go. Anyways, for its third anniversary, they're doing a fire event, so let's go ahead and get into it. Starting on June 28th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Time, shiny Alolan Pokemon release. Rattata, Sandshrew, Vulpix, Diglett, Meowth, Geodude, Grimer, and Executor. So all those Pokemon are going to be released. I'm assuming they're going to be spawning in the wild, and I'm assuming they're going to be in some raids. And then of course they're still going to be in the 7km eggs. Now I do want to show you guys a quick edit by uh, Disney Gamer and show you guys what these Alolan Pokemon look like because, or what the shiny Alolan Pokemon look like because they look pretty dope. And here it is right here. This is how all these shiny Alolans look. Um, I of all of them okay so the biggest change is obviously a lolan diglet like <laughs> he just turns into like a burnt a burnt diglet with a blue nose and yellow hair and it looks super weird but um in terms of the coolest one you really can't tell the difference with vulpix santra's difference isn't that crazy executor's just got a different tint um I, I would say meowth is pretty cool that like black cat is definitely dope and then geodude is orange which is another beautiful shiny let me know in the comments which shiny alone pokemon you guys are most excited for but I would say I would say Meowth or Geodude I never thought I'd be excited for Meowth but yeah there's also gonna be new avatar items featuring the team leader style so if you guys want to dress like your team leader those are gonna be in the store as well and then from June 28th to July 6th at 1 p.m. Party Hat Pikachu
Pichu can photobomb once a day while taking ghost snapshots, and then Pichu wearing a party hat will also be available to hatch from 7 kilometer eggs. And it's worth noting that I'm pretty sure um, the shinies are going to be available. So if you want a shiny party hat Pikachu or Pichu, ha uh, take your AR pictures and hatch your eggs. So this is pretty big. So from June 28th to September 2nd, which is a little bit longer than a month, new special research for level for trainers level 10 plus will have will be out and it's going to have some really helpful rewards i'm assuming so it's, again this is special research not research task special research i'm assuming it's going to reward some legendaries maybe some good pokemon some rare pokemon um and then definitely some stardust maybe some incubators definitely a lot of items so i'm actually really excited for the special research no matter what level you are i'm pretty sure these rewards are going to be nice to get take down raid bosses faster and earn extra bonus premier ball so that also means means that next month, or again during this event, it sounds like the raid boss CPs are going to be lowered and you get extra premier balls, probably like an extra three per raid. That's awesome. That is very, very good. And then trading Pokemon will cost one fourth less Stardust for about a month and a month and a week. That's a really, really fire event. Um, the whole point of this event, they talked about it more in their article, but the whole point of this event was to bring back people who, who used to play the game. So I know there's a lot of you out there, and including me, who had old friends that played the game and they kind of just, you know, stopped playing for a while and, and they don't want to come back because they think that there's too much going on or they need to catch up. If they want to come back and they want to get back into the game, this event is going to be it for them. This is going to be so beneficial. They're going to get a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Stardust, a lot of items, and they'll get caught up in just about a month. And now let's quickly go over Raikou Day because that is coming up very, very soon here. Um, Raikou's catch CP ranges from 1889 to 1972, and then its boosted CP goes from 2361. Shh. Stop meowing, I'm recording. <laughs> and then his boosted CP ranges from 2361 to 2466. Uh, the shiny is available and it looks so, so cool. I actually think this is the second, well, I don't know, it's tied for first with Entei because, out of the Legendary Beast because they both look really, really cool. There it is in the middle right. And then your general counters, you got Garchomp, Groudon, Rhyperior, Mamoswine, Rhydon, and Donphan, all with ground movesets. If you guys need to look at this some more, go ahead and pause the video, but I'm going to move on to the next, uh, the next thing. Now, this next picture that they release has also got me very very hyped here is the pokemon go third anniversary celebration picture very very cool picture you guys see uh salamence jirachi garchomp a whole there's a pikachu inflatable um the flower hat the flower crown uh pikachu and eevee when i saw this picture i was like wow that's a beautiful picture very very cool and then i was like man there's got to be more to this picture so i you know put on my put on my uh glass i don't know i I just kept looking and I actually found some really cool stuff. So if you guys go all the way to the right of the picture, all the way over here, you guys see the tree in the background, but if you just squint in your eyes, you can see Team Rocket, um, Team Rocket members hiding behind the tree. Now that is pretty hard to spot. It, it's, it's definitely possible that you guys might've missed that, but there is Team Rocket members. So they're pretty much confirming that the Team Rocket members are coming to the game. Again, that feature, I literally, literally cannot wait for. Like I need that to happen soon. And then also one of the most noticeable things, Generation 5 Pokemon are in this picture. Now that is no surprise because if you guys remember last year, I believe it was for their second year anniversary, they also released a picture kind of similar to this, highlighting the stuff that went on that la that year. And in that picture, we saw the Gen 4 starters. We saw Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig. And then shortly after that, we got those Generation 4 Pokemon. So again, there are Generation 5 Pokemon in here, as you guys can see. To the left of Garchomp and right under that Lapras, you guys see a little green Pokemon called Snivy. The grass type starter in generation 5 that is some hype right there and then right under Togekiss and next to Professor Willow you guys can see Tepig and Oshawott the generation 5 starters that is some hype right there if I've ever seen it generation 5 is coming soon not like next week soon but in the coming months really really awesome picture right there I don't think I missed anything if you guys want to double check and look around I'm um, pretty sure I got everything like that's you know worth noting and finally gonna go through this pretty quickly but we do have a new Deoxys form in the game uh, here it is this is the speed form Deoxys. Its catch CP ranges from 1568 to 1645 and its boosted CP ranges from 1960 to 2056. This is actually one of the higher CP Deoxys uh, compared to the other ones. So that's always nice. There's uh, Deoxys fast moves and charge moves and there's general counters. Pretty much the same for all the Deoxys because they're the same Pokemon other than their uh, stats of course. Origin form Giratina, Gengar, Tyranitar, Mewtwo, Weavile, and Bonnet. If you guys want to pause that and take another look at that or screenshot it or whatever, 
feel free to do so. But that's going to be the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. A lot of hype coming to the game. Make sure to let me know in the comments how hyped you guys are for Generation 5. Let me know. Wow, that's so weird to say. That is so weird to say. Let me know uh, what shiny lone Pokemon you guys are most looking forward to as well. I think mine's going to be Meowth and Geodude for sure. But that's going to be it for today. Good luck to the people that are going for the shiny Groudons. I know I'm still doing that as well. And good luck to everybody hunting for those shiny alone Pokemon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see your faces later. Deuces.